Okay, we got another video, another uh, problem here. Uh, at noon, a car and a motorcycle leave the same point in the desert. The car goes north at 60 miles per hour, and the motorcycle goes east at 120. How fast is the distance between them changing at 1230? All right. Um, let's draw a picture. Now, why did I say in the desert? That doesn't really matter, but I wanted to make sure there's nothing else around for them to run into. And it's a big flat place where they can both go. So we've got the car here, and it goes this direction. Yeah, the car goes north, and the motorcycle goes east. And we're trying to find the distance between the two of them. So the distance between them is going to be defined by the Pythagorean theorem, this right here. So let's, uh, let's call this, I'm going to call this D, M, and C. I'm using that because that way we've got C for car's distance, uh, M for the motorcycle's distance, and D for the distance in between. Now, of course, we know this is related by uh, C squared plus M squared equals d squared. So how fast is the distance changing between them? Okay, well first up, let's um, let's write out what we're given. The car goes north at 60 miles per hour. So dc dt is 60. The motorcycle goes east at 120. So dm dt is 120. And they ask us, how fast is the distance between them changing at 1230? So they want us to find d, 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 dt. That's a little unfortunate, but it works. Um, how fast is the distance between them changing at 1230? Well, that's sort of bringing time into it. But we, we don't need to do much with that. We just need to say d, d, dt at 1230. Um, Let's come back to that in a second. Okay, let's take the derivative of this to get our rate equation. You get 2c times dc dt plus 2m times dm dt equals 2d times dd dt. Okay, so we've got to plug into uh, all of this stuff. And the thing we're trying to solve for is the dd dt. Well, let's see, what are all these other values? dc, this and this are given to us. But we've got to figure out what the c, the m, and the d are at 1230. All right, so at 1230, that's after they've been, everybody's been driving for a half hour. So at 1230, let's see, the car. If he's going 60 miles an hour, then uh, after a half hour, he's gone 30 miles. The motorcycle, he's going 120 miles an hour, so after half an hour, he's gone 60 miles. So that's uh, M is 60. And D, well, we can find that with the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, plugging into here. I'm going to do 60 squared plus 30 squared. That's 4,500. So D is the square root of 4,500. So let's see, I'm going to, let's work that out down here. 4,500, I can break that into 45 times 100, and I can break the 45 into 9 times 5 times 100. So if you take the square root of all three of these, you get the 3 root 5 times 10, so 30 root 5. All right, so we've got everything we need, we just got to plug in. So let's see. Plugging into this equation, we get 2 times C 
times dc dt plus 2 times m times dm dt equals 2 times d times d d d t. That's the thing we're trying to solve for is the d d d t. So let's see, this is um, 2 times 30 times 60. That's 3,600. 2 times 60 times 120. That's 14,400 equals uh, Let's see, 60 root 5 d d d t. So let's see, 3,600 plus 14, 400. So this is 18,000 over here. I'm going to divide that by 60. So that gives me 300 over root 5 equals d, 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 t. And if we want that as a decimal, because this is a speed, we want to actually know what it is. That's 134 miles per hour. I'm just rounding to the nearest uh, whole number. The actual, it's 134.164, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's the uh, speed at which these two uh, vehicles are uh, like leaving each other at 1230.